Oh hey, it's Barry, and millions and millions of people enjoy their Switch every single day, but of course many people are awaiting what Nintendo has behind the curtain that will be up and coming in the Switch 2 next year, or whatever they decide to call it, hopefully not the Switch U or nothing crazy like that, that would be kind of bad. However, Nintendo plans to have some things in place to fight the low supply and actually fight against scalpers, as scalpers has been a huge, huge issue in the sides of gamers for quite a while, leaving gamers with the options of overpaying or having to meet sellers in sketchy areas to get their consoles, and that's just not a cool thing, and Nintendo definitely doesn't think so either, so they're putting things in place to fight against it with the upcoming release. But before we get into it, I'd really appreciate it if you could just smash that like button, hit that subscribe bell as it really does help me out for the YouTube algorithm, and without further ado, let's get right into it. So of course the Nintendo Switch 2 has been a hot topic ever since rumors of its development surfaced online. The hype has reached a whole new level in May when Nintendo confirmed that their next console will be revealed before April 2025. There has not been much information about the Switch successor. As we close in on the date, of course Nintendo is letting a bit more out of the bag. At Nintendo's 84th annual shareholders meeting, CEO Shintaro Furukawa shared important updates about the upcoming coming Switch 2. The CEO addressed worries about resale and shortages, reassuring stakeholders that the company has learned from its past mistakes and has taken steps to prevent them. Earlier on this year, Nintendo revealed its plans to ship 10 million units in the first year to ensure a successful launch with wide availability for all the consumers. Why it matters is because the original Switch was plagued with scarcity issues during its launch and was resold at double the price. Nintendo aims to fix that problem with the successor reportedly launching in 2025. And of course, Nintendo is adjusting its strategy to supply issues faced by Sony and Microsoft with their PS5 and Xbox Series. X. The global chip crisis during the COVID-19 pandemic mainly caused those shortages, but Nintendo is learning from these challenges and implementing proactive measures to avoid similar issues. Recently, the company has also struggled with Switch production because there was a semiconductor shortage, a global problem that hindered meeting high customer demand. Of course, their CEO reassured investors that this challenge has been resolved and won't affect production of the upcoming hardware. The company's main approach is to ramp up production sufficiently to prevent the upcoming console from being resold at a higher price. And personally, I think that's a real good idea because by ensuring enough units are available, Available, Nintendo is probably going to aim to reduce the impact of the resale market and that's going to make it easier for everyone to get consoles at the end of the day. And alongside boost in production, the gaming giant Nintendo is also looking into legal actions against resale. Furukara said that the company is exploring different legal strategies tailored to each region to effectively tackle the resale problem. The gaming giant is expected to announce the Switch 2 sometime this fiscal year, and the handheld console could be priced at around $399, 400 bucks, according to various reports. The gaming community anticipates this announcement, of course, but Nintendo is taking proactive steps as there is high expectations for a smooth launch. So Nintendo is really going all out trying to get legal teams in each and every region to take care of resales, resellers, and they're ramping up production to make sure that everyone that wants a Nintendo Switch 2 for Timmy uh, could get it. Nintendo also said that they will continue to support the current generation after the new model launches, and this means ongoing third-party support and games that work on both systems so existing customers won't ever miss out. An exciting upcoming release like Metroid Prime 4 are expected to be available on both consoles, helping to transition smoothly between them. And that seems like a really good idea. And of course, guys, I really want to know what you think about all this down in the comments below. Nintendo is really going all out to prevent people scalping their console. I think it's a good move. Nintendo always, always are down to fight people legally. So them setting up different legal strategies tailored to each region doesn't really surprise me.
It's just Nintendo being Nintendo. And of course, in Japan, copyright laws are really, really important to them. And they take it really seriously. So, of course, guys, let me know what you think about all this down in the comments below. I really, really want to hear your thoughts. I'll be reading every single comment back to back. Like Drizzy, no Diddy. And of course, guys, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. So you know when I drop any brand new videos in the future. Thank you so much for viewing this video till this point if you're here comment below me in the comment section and as always have a great day